is WPBF News 25, where you always get your weather first. 639, gentlemen, what if you could predict your chances of hair loss? Coming up, a new test kit that says they can do just that. 15, wouldn't we all like to know if we're going to have a full head of hair later in life? Well, coming up, a new test that may be able to tell. Hair loss can be a hair-raising subject for anyone, but especially for men. Wouldn't we all like to know when and if we are going to lose our hair? Dr. Alan Bauman uses the Hair DX testing kit that claims it can predict whether a person will go bald in his or her lifetime. Dr. Bauman joins us along with two of his patients and test, uh, what do we call them, guinea pigs? Oh. Test subjects. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so take us through this test. You can actually, uh, I understand you just swab your mouth? Correct. Uh, the genetic test is a non-invasive, painless test that we do. It takes about 20 seconds, 30 seconds to swab the inside of your mouth. We send that off in a vial to a DNA lab. They come back with a high risk or low risk rating. And what that does, that gives you the information whether you're going to have significant hair loss before the age of 40. And then you can start treatment, effective medical treatment. Very interesting. All right, so let's take us through. You guys took the okay. test, Tom yeah. and Eric, his son. Walk yes. us through that, Tom. Well, you know, I started to, uh, I, was, uh, I knew he was doing the test, and he offered to do it for me. And uh, I noticed I was starting to lose my hair. So, um, you know, I was more than happy to be part of this uh, test subject. And uh, uh, lo and behold, we got our results back, and Eric was a high risk, and I was uh, a low risk. And I thought I for sure I was a high risk because, I, you know, I started to lose a large amount of hair, 50% of my hair. So uh, after the test was done, um, you know, uh, Dr. Bauman uh, put me on certain uh, treatments like finasteride, minoxidil, and uh, laser light therapy, and uh, I don't know, pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah, right? And I think we're looking at uh, before and after pictures for some of these here, yes. for some of the treatments. Correct. Uh, that was a before and after of a hair transplant patient and, of course, the up-close view of the hairline. Um, but the key with the genetic test is that enables us to start non-invasive treatments prior to noticing hair loss. Not bad at all. Eric, how does it feel to be a high risk uh, for baldness? Uh, well, I was definitely surprised at first. Um, and I was, I was kind of expecting it a little bit because both my grandpas are bald. And I wasn't really sure what to think at first. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting stuff. Now, is there any truth to the theory out there that your mother's father is a good predictor of whether or not you're going to be bald? Well, Bob, there's a little bit of truth to that because actually the test that we're using looks on the X chromosome. And the X chromosome comes from your mother's side of the family. But in fact, there are probably a number of different genes that affect the expression of hair loss. But this androgen receptor, that's on the X chromosome. That's what we're testing for. And that, that, that variant is carried by 95% of bald men. Very interesting. Swab your cheek. Know if you're bald. Thanks again for joining us. We don't have too much time left, but also females who lose hair. Talk about that. Correct. Um, female hair loss is a very, very important issue. Obviously, you know, men sometimes can have the option of uh, shaving their scalp. Women don't have that option. So the treatment for women, uh, the, first of all, the screening test is available now just within the past 90 days for women who think that they may be at risk for hair loss. And effective treatments then can be initiated. All you have to do, take that little swab, then you find out if you're going to lose the hair. Thanks again for joining us, all of you, this morning.